Hey everyone, welcome to the Dark Confidants. I'm Corey. And I'm Marcus, and welcome back to another game of Popper EDH. In this game, we are all playing a random assortment of decks, yeah. so let's just get in to see the commanders in opening hands. For this game, I'm on Rocco Cabaretti Caterer. My opening hand contained an Arcane Signet, Careful Cultivation, Ironclad Slayer, Midnight Guard, Presence of Gond, Reclaim, and a Rustfell Bridge. Next up, we have Dalton bringing back Indulging Patrician. His opening hand had Bitter Revelation, Marble Diamond, Vampire Lacerator, Vampire Zealot, Two Swamps, and he mulliganed down a Cage of Hands. Next, we have Matt bringing back Aromi of the Dead Tide for an encore. His opening hand contained Burglar Rat, Feed the Swarm, Mind Rack Harpy, Evolving Wilds, Ice Tunnel, Snow Covered Island, and a Snow Covered Swamp. And finally, we have Kelsey with Mowu, Loyal Companion. Her opening hand had an Elvish Mystic, Force Adaptation, New Horizons, Wilt, Opal Palace, and two Forests. Now let's jump into the gameplay to see who will achieve greatness at any cost. Alright, I'll draw. Um, I will play a Slagwoods Bridge, ETB Tap. Pass her. I will draw. Oh, thank you. Scour Barons, and I'm going to pass turn. I will draw. Is that the game line? It does. Game one. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I will play a nice tunnel. Tapped. Pass turn. She's not going to have a tap land. <laughs> Forest. Tap. She's so fast. fast. She tap <laughs> Elvis from uh, the <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Pass turn. Okay. Tap. Draw. Play a Rustville Bridge. ETB tapped. And pass the turn. Okay. On tap. Draw. I am going to play a swamp. I'm going to tap the swamp and the barons for Marble Diamond, which is about to tap and pass turn. Okay. I will I'm tap. Draw. I will play a snow covered swamp. I will tap both to get an iceberg. King Cricks, whenever a snow permanent comes under my control, I can have a target opponent put the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. And I will pass turn. And then I think I will pass turn. Okay. On top. Draw. A two to cast an arcane signet. Um, and for my land, I'm going to play Cabaretti Courtyard. Uh, this is one of the newer lands, so it says, When it enters the battlefield, sacrifice it. When you do, search your library for a basic mountain, forest, or plains. Put it onto the battlefield tab, and shuffle, and you gain one life. So I gain a life. I get ETBs, I sacrifice it. Yeah, I'll just go with a uh, Snow Cover Taurus. And I'll pass turn. Okay. Let me tap. Draw. I am going to play a swamp. I'm going to tap black, black, and white for commander. And we are going to pass turn. Okay. And tip. Draw. I'm going to play a Snow Covered Island. And when that happens, I can have some of my mill two cards. So I'm going to put the top two of my library into my graveyard. I've got Grixis Panorama and Terramorphic Expanse. Okay. Um, then you're going to tap one, two, three to bring out Parali. And I'll pass turn. Okay. We'll put down a forest. And um, pass turn. Okay. And tap. Draw. Okay. Uh, I'll play a planes. Line of turn. I'll do this. I'll pay three. Uh, mainly just tapping that one for white. That's the only one that really matters here. To cast a Midnight Guard. Uh, whenever another creature enters the battlefield, untap him. And I think I'll just pass turn with that. Okay. I'll keep untap, draw. We go ahead and play Terramorphic Expanse for land for turn. And then I am going to tap one white. For Vampire Zeal, targeting Indulgent Partisan, target creature gets 2-2 two, two until end of turn. The Vampire gains first strike until end of turn. Uh, I don't think there's any blockers like a blocker. No, no. In the air. 
Nobody's on anything yet. But I mean, but there, there might be a combo piece on the board. Oh. But you're all taking damage at the end of the turn anyway, so. That's true. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. Okay. It's two. That's me. Yes, sir. So that's three coming at you. And it's one, two, three, and commander. And gain three. One, two, three. And then what do we take? You all lose three. At my instep, which I do pass to, and at that, I'm gonna tap sack, get rid of this, and I'm gonna go get a planes. I'll tap. Intro. Um, for land, I'm gonna play Evolving Wilds. I'm gonna go ahead and sack it. So you get a snow cover swamp thing. Then I mill two. I've got an island, Nevermind Guardian. Um, so let's go ahead and tap her on me. Oh, that comes in tapped, by the way. Mm. To Encore. Targeting Grim Guardian. So I exile three cards, because I have three points. Yep. Grim Guardian comes onto the field. It sees three of himself. Yeah. There's one for each of you. So it is nine damage to each. And then moves to combat. I send one at each of you. Yep. And you take one more damage each unless you block. It's and just block. a it's a one four. It's on the ground, one four, it's nothing impressive. Yeah, I'll just I mean I'll block with midnight yeah. guard. Like. <clears throat> no, I'm out of mana. Everything's tapped with Grim Guardian. Sorry about that. Yeah. Past turn, he sacrificed and now exiled. Okay. All good. Purple Palace. I hey, wanted to tap it and add one mana of any color to my commander's color identity. Agreed. Um, yeah, and then I'll um, spend that to cast my commander. So with Opal Palace, it lets me um, uh, enter the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter for each, or for a number of times it's been cast from the command zone, which is just once. But because it's the plus one plus one counter, if one would be put on Malu, that many plus one, so it'll be two. Very nice. There we go. It was a 5 5 triple visual. Yeah. Commander. The green is good. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's all I got. Past turn. Okay. Now you know why I waited. Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay three to cast Presence of God on Midnight Card. I, I got no response. No response. Mm -hmm. I response. Perfect. <clears throat> So this gives him the ability to tap, put a 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature token into play. Um, I'm then going to pay two, cast impact tremors. And, um, I think you. I, I, I win. Yes, I tap. I make a 1-1. One, one. The 1-1 one, one entering the battlefield triggers midnight guard and impact tremors. Impact tremors is going to deal one damage to each opponent. The 1-1 one, one entering is going to untap midnight guard. So I just repeat creating 1-1s one, until. The impact Tremors right. kills everybody. I blew. All right. <laughs> yeah. Good game. Yeah. Well, that was fast. That was fast. All right. Uh, so it definitely helps when you have your entire combo in your opening <laughs> hand. Um, typically, you know, you use Rocco to go fetch the pieces that you need, but didn't even have to do that. Uh, Midnight Garden Presence of Gone right there. Just needed to draw mana, and I did, so <laughs> it better be lucky than good. Um, <clears throat> but... We gotta point out, uh, you know, Matt identified the combo piece. He did. He had Feed the Swarm in his opening hand and chose to Encore instead. So, um, yeah. bad decision making there. I guess, you know, you just gotta force him to have it, and he was like, hey, he ain't got it. Yeah, I mean, maybe he was assuming that I was gonna have to tutor with Rocco, maybe. Right. He thinks he has another turn, because in that situation, I usually grab, like, Helios Pilgrim to go grab Presence of Gond. Uh, maybe that's what he's banking on, but I think in that situation, you always have to kill the combo piece, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, that was a, uh, that was a pretty short game. Yeah, I, um, yeah very, they're very fast. You think we got time for one more? Yeah, I think we do. Okay, let's uh, take a look at some opening hands. <laughs> for this next game, I'm sticking with Rocco Cabaretti Caterer. 
My opening hand contained Careful Cultivation, Leapkin Druid, Pili Pala, Totem Guide Heart Beast, two Snow Covered Plains, and my London Mulligan was a Wild Growth. Next we have Kelsey with Moo, Loyal Companion. In her opening hand she had Elvish Mystic, Hunt of the Weak, Life Crafter's Gift, Loudmoor Elves, Pollen Bright Druid, Opal Palace, and a Forest. Following that, Dalton is on Indulging Patrician. He has Blood Beckoning, Bitter Revelation, Cage of Hands, Path of Ancestry, Two Swamps, and he mulliganed Vampire Lacerator to the bottom of his deck. And finally, we have Matt with a Rumi of the Dead Tide. His opening hand was Armored Scabbed, Burglar Rat, Morid Explorer, Krovikin Sorcerer, Prismatic Lens, Snow Covered Island, and Snow Covered Swamp. Now let's jump to the gameplay to see who will achieve greatness at any cost. Mm -hmm. Alright, I will draw. Um, I will play the Plains and Pass Turn. Strong start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll play a forest, tap, elvish mystic, and pastor. Draw. Ooh. Path mastery, then your map, pastor. Thank you, sir. The user. Ooh, just because I can. The new <laughs> command tower. There you go. Um, and yeah, pass turn. Okay, I'll draw. Play a forest. I'll pay two. Cast a Leafkin Druid. Pass turn. I see a pattern. <laughs> Matador Chiss. Yes. Forest, pay one, land a war else. Um, and I think actually that's it, so pass turn. Oh, the untap, draw. You're gonna play a Swamp. You're gonna tap, tap for Vermin Gorger. I'm gonna scry the path. We'll keep it. Okay. We'll pass turn after that. Draw. Land for turn. Tap two. Play Prismatic Lens. And pass turn. Check. One tap. Draw. Play a mountain. Tron is assembled. Um, pay two. Yeah, that's fine. Cast a Pilly Bomb. Pass turn. Opal Palace. Pay one in the Opal Palace, and then two, three, four. Now move. Get and a five five. Get a five five. Sorry, I'm part of these. Thank you. Tap, Tap, draw. Swan. Let's do one, two, three. Scry for my lady. Mm -hmm. Keep that there. And we'll pass. Okay. Draw. I'm gonna play Snow Cover Island for Wind. I'm then gonna do. I should just do one, two, three. Bring out a raw me. And pass. Okay. Try. Cast careful cultivation targeting Philly Pollock. Oh. I've got no interaction whatsoever. I don't like to hear. So I'll present a loop where I tap Philly Pollock for a green, two green, mm -hmm. use that to untap, add one mana of any color to my mana pool, and get infinite mana. I'll cast Rocco, where X equals three. I reveal Flame Wave Invoker. And I'll just pay eight and two it a bunch of times and deal five damage to everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you can I, combine this game and, and the first other game. One. Yeah. I think so. Actually, yeah. I think yeah. I might do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a deck. All right. So that happened. <laughs> that was definitely very impressive. Uh, fastest popper EDH video that we have yeah. uh, recorded definitely thus far. Um, Sometimes it's good just to have it all. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it feels, it feels, it feels nice. <laughs> uh, but worry not, we will definitely be seeing more of each of these commanders in future videos. Uh, not seeing the last of them yet. Yeah. 
And to that, if there's other commanders you want to see, or if you want to have breakdown videos of certain commanders, let us know in the comments below, and also be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, uh, please do join us next time to see who will achieve greatness at any cost.